More than 150 people attended the first debate organized by the All Party Parliamentary Group on Catalonia, created last March in the British Parliament. Under the title A Democratic Solution for Catalonia, MPs, journalists and academics debate on Catalonia's pro-independence roadmap and the ways to overcome the current deadlock. I am a Scottish MP. It's not for me to tell people in Catalonia how to vote, but they should be allowed to vote. And to stop them, that's not the European way. In, in Europe, we have learned for the past 70 years that we talk, we debate, we vote. That's how you decide things. To step away from that is dangerous. There can't be a democratic solution if the, if the, if the, if the, the Spanish constitution refuses to allow it. But of course we in the UK don't have a written constitution and that means that we're never actually bound by the decisions of politicians of the past. Sometimes facing up to the political realities of the day is more important than following past legislation. I believe in the democratic rights of people uh, to self-determination, to decide for themselves. If people collectively, uh, in a self-defined way, call themselves Catalans or Welsh or whatever, and decide that they want to go in a certain way politically, then it is up to them to decide. It's not for the other states to say, we will only talk to you on these terms, or we will only talk to these particular leaders that we have chosen. EU correspondent for the CNA, Laura Pous, and Daily Mirror's political editor, Jason Beatty, commented on the international perception of Catalonia's political process. In this vein, Pous insisted on the need for Catalonia to hold a real binding referendum, rather than a symbolic vote in order to gain international attention and recognition. Professor Michael Struble and Catalan National Assembly International Committee Chair, Montse Daban, were also amongst the panelists of the event, which was co-organized by the British branch of the Catalan National Assembly. The APPG on Catalonia brings together more than 20 MPs and peers representing the whole political spectrum in Westminster.